Happy New Year. It's the 1st of January. It is a beautiful sunny day and um, Carlo and I have decided to start off the year right and we're going to go to the beach for a picnic. So I have started to prepare some lunch. I'm doing a classic local beach food dish. It's um, spaghetti cake basically is the best way to translate it. Frittata or spaghetti omelette maybe. So it's basically um, some cooked spaghetti and then you mix it up with eggs and salami and cheese and a bit of tomato, whatever you've got to hand really. Mix it all up and then fry it in an omelette. So I'm going to pack that up with some fruit and a couple of little chocolatey things and we're going to go down to the beach. I think we're going to go to Arienzo, which should be very quiet. In fact, if I go down a few more steps, I can actually see it from here, so I can check. The sky is obviously not coming because she was out partying and didn't get in until, I think it was about 7 o'clock this morning actually, but she did send me text messages all night long to let me know that she was safe and sound. Um, that's our little deal that we have when she wants to go out late, is that she has to keep texting me, otherwise I will get up and come and find her. I am sitting on top of a tomb in the cemetery, but this is one of the best views of this planet. So I'm sure whoever's tomb it is, they hopefully won't mind. Anyhow, um, I haven't been doing videos on YouTube for, well, since the end of the season really, just because I really didn't have much to film. Um, I did go on holiday to Sicily, but I wanted to have a holiday and not stress about filming, so I didn't bother filming that, um, which now I sort of regret because it was a really, really good trip. Um, but anyhow, I've decided I'm going to try and do a weekly vlog. So every day I'm going to try and record a little bit of whatever I'm doing or whatever I think that might be interesting and try and compile it into a video that I'll put out every Sunday. I'm going to give it a go. It might not work, but we'll try. Carla just asked me if I've got dessert as well because... Aha! This is a book of the back, though. Ah, buono. Mm-hmm. Italian una fetta, sì. Sì, ma due fette. Due fette. This is his little kitchen in the cemetery. I don't know if I've ever shown this before. How dare they? <laughs> Why do I always end up bringing you to the beach the day after I've washed you? Are you hungry? So these people are putting on wetsuits to go for a swim, which I think is cheating. Sì, l'hai fatto, brava. I said I said about two months ago that I was going to go for a swim on New Year's Day 
I tried. <laughs> at least I got in the water. Both of my legs cramped up every both time I tried it. And uh, my calves completely cramped up. It was so cold. I'm not used to it. But I did my best and I got wet out <laughs> to get a little bit cooler now so we're going to make a move home and I think I should probably wake up Sky as well because she's oh, still really fast asleep. Okay, so if you don't follow me on Instagram, you won't know that on, I think it was Christmas Eve, on Christmas Eve we had, <laughs> she's very excited, aren't you? because you think that we're going out for a walk, we're actually just going into the garden. On Christmas Eve, we had a, um, uh, a wall came down in the garden. Basically, the three days beforehand, there was torrential rain non-stop for about three days. We were sitting inside and we just heard this incredibly loud noise of just, you could just hear rocks falling. And I thought the whole of Montefiatuso was coming down. And we ran outside, ran straight back in again because there was rocks still falling very close by and we weren't sure where it was coming from and um, I sort of sat there waiting to hear screaming but nothing happened so we got torches and started looking around and I found that the wall had fallen down in the top garden. So I'm standing by the pool now and you can see a big chunk of wall missing. It's a dry stone wall so all the rocks just came tumbling down from the weight of the water that was waterlogging the earth. Yeah, let's go up and I'll show you the progress we're making because obviously the wall's gonna have to be rebuilt. Just shut this door. So obviously this was a vegetable patch. We were growing fennel, broccoli, cauliflower, cabbages, and lettuces all along here. Now it's turned into a building site. So there's just a few a few remnants of um, very sad broccoli plants that are left, that's all we've got. But the wall fell down and buried all the fennel and now it's been divided into, oh there's a couple of trees came down as well and um, they've divided it into big rocks, they've sifted all of this, smaller rocks and We'll obviously have somebody to come in to rebuild the wall at some point. This is perfect probably come this is classic to fare con la salsiccia. Not so poco viene served. E porta un po' di verdura a casa. I have just changed my jumper because I can't put my coat on over that yellow one, it's so big. I need to walk up to Norcelle to pick up my scooter because we did the path over God the other day and I have to leave my scooter there because we came back. Do I have Prayana? What do I need? My wallet. Oh, do you need to be fed? Do you want some food? There is no need actually to wear a coat. At the moment it's pretty warm but I know that once I get on my scooter I'll want it. I have managed to squeeze my coat into my bag, definitely didn't need my coat to walk up here and I probably could have done without it uh, driving back down again. This is the old pathway that everybody would have to walk up with their shopping. It's quite a long pathway, it's not easy. Lots of steps too. And obviously also some fantastic views. Right, we're just coming into the beginning of the village. There's a little photo opportunity here involving the statue. If you stick your camera just above the gate here, you've got a lovely view of Positano down there with the statue. Anyway, I left my scooter just up here in the car park.
if you remember from other videos, this room used to be turquoise. I was sick to death of that colour. I couldn't stand it anymore, even though Sky loves it. Um, and I decided to paint it in October. Um, the only problem is I ran out of paint. I didn't, have, I didn't buy quite enough and I never finished it. <laughs> yeah, so I really need to go and buy some more paint and finish that. This is my local DIY shop. It's more of a builder's shop really, but this is where I come to buy my paint. So my scooter is missing the um, windshield because it uh, fell over in the wind and smashed. So the mechanic took it off, but I'm gonna have to ask him to put another one on because it's just far too cold without a windshield. Imagine driving in your car without a front windscreen. Amazing. And handily, the mechanic is right here. There he is, he's on, always on phone. Well, that was good, he says he's gonna get one in for me by this afternoon and I can leave the keys with him later on and he will install it for me. Perfect. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Are you happy when we Yes. <sighs> so another thing I need to do is take down the Christmas decorations. I haven't got around to that yet. Right, let's see what Luca is doing today. I had to get Luca to bring me down a ladder because it's a very high ceiling and I can't get to the top of it. So I'm good. Uh, I spent mango. Allora, io devo pizzare in quella stanza là. Allora, io devo arrivare qua su. Tu vuoi mettere dentro questo qua? Muoviamo, se ci vuoi. So that ladder was not very good because it would have slipped. Um, so Luca's going to bring me a different ladder tomorrow. So in the meantime, I'm going to get rid of the Christmas decorations and I'm gonna paint some stuff in here. Don't know if I actually showed you, but our Christmas tree is decorated with um, makeup beauty blenders in all different colors. everything away so maybe I'll just put some of the leftovers from this in here I painted these chairs last time it was seven years ago uh, when we first moved in here and I painted them with Annie Sloan chalk paint it's lasted really well. I mean, that is seven years of wear and tear. So I'm just going over them now with new colors. Thanks to your son. <laughs> so yesterday, my goal was to finish painting this room, that bit up there. I did everything but I ended up painting four chairs and the kitchen dresser that was not in the plans and I've also bought tile paint to paint the kitchen tiles. So I've ended up starting off this whole other project which I'm going to have to carry through now and I sort of wish I hadn't started but I've got to keep going. Anyway I'm going to take Hello Paul. Not for walkies. Not for walkies. Yes you do don't you. Look at the walkies. Luke has been drilling outside since about, got about eight o'clock this morning, half past seven. I think they've got some people in to fix the wall finally. So we'll go and have a quick look at that and then we will go for a walk. Ah, and Luca has brought me the extra tall ladder so that I can finish off that painting job. It's quite a miserable day today. I thought I'd come to Fornilla and show you the little Presepe, which is the town nativity scene that they build in the little grotto where the bus stop is at Fornilla every winter.
we are going to go for a little walk this way today. This is a very quiet, old, almost forgotten pathway at the edge of town. My dad always told me to turn around and check behind you because the view behind you might be better than the view in front of you. One of the biggest downsides here is if you like walking, like me, there's just nowhere flat. Everywhere you walk is up or down. And I, this time of year, I just long for a nice big flat plane to walk along. See, going for a walk here is very strenuous. So I finished my walk and I decided to leave my scooter down at the bottom of the steps so Carla can use it this evening and now I'm walking up home. So that's about 500 steps to get up to the road to start my walk. Probably we did about 250 steps or more on the walk and now 800 to get home. I'm not going to show you the bottom of the kitchen dresser because it's not finished and it looks a bit odd at the moment. We are going to be changing up these shelves as well in the next few days. Um, so I'm going to leave that there. I think that is enough decorating from me. I am now going to attempt to climb that ladder and paint and I'm going to leave the video here for now. Hope you enjoyed this first video of the year after a couple of months break and I will see you next week for the next video. Bye.